Hey church, it's day 10. We are halfway through this time of prayer and fasting and I'm praying and believing that you already have some great stories of God's breakthrough from this time. So today I want to encourage you in knowing that even though Jesus isn't physically here with us, he's still near to us through his Holy Spirit. It says in Matthew chapter 9, Jesus replied, Do wedding guests mourn while celebrating with the groom? Of course not. But someday the groom will be taken away from them and then they will fast. Here Jesus is describing himself as the groom and his disciples as the wedding guests. But Jesus knew that it was not too long away when this physical closeness that the disciples had with Jesus would come to an end. But instead of leaving us to our own devices and by ourselves, Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit who is always present. But yet we still experience a homesickness and a longing to be home and together again with our Saviour Jesus. John Piper sums it up perfectly when he says, In this age, there is an ache and a longing inside every Christian that Jesus is not here as fully, as intimately, as powerfully and as gloriously as we want him to be. And that is why we fast. When we long to draw closer to God and experience his empowering presence more fully than we currently are, fasting is the right response. During this time of prayer and fasting, we are acknowledging that in our hunger, uh, that we want to be closer to God, And so I encourage you to not give up, to press in and to press on and draw near to God. God bless you.